want you to go very quickly with me. Rápido, quiero que vayan conmigo. To the book of Mark. Al libro de Marcos. Okay, we're going to be reading out of the Passion Translation. Okay, Mark chapter 5 verse 21. Marcos 5:21. Okay, follow me with me. We're going to go through this text extremely quick. Vamos a ir bien rápido. Say with me, I believe in miracles. Yo creo en milagros. After Jesus returned from across the lake, a huge crowd of people quickly gathered around him on the shoreline. Just then a man saw that it was Jesus, so he pushed through the crowd and threw himself down at his feet. If Jesus walked into this room, si Jesús entraba a este cuarto, would you push through the crowd ¿Tú vas a empujar la multitud? and throw yourself at his feet? Y tirarte sus pies? How desperate are you for Jesus? ¿Qué desesperado estás por Jesús? His name was Jairus, a Jewish official who was in charge of the synagogue. He pleaded with Jesus saying over and over. Can you say that with me? Over and over. Una y otra vez. So here's Jesus on the other side and here's this man who started to plead with him. Aquí está Jesús, el hombre del otro lado. Please come with me. Por favor, ven conmigo. My little daughter is at the point of death and she's only 12 years old. How old was his daughter? ¿Cuántos años tenía su hija? And she was at the point of Can you imagine this man? ¿Te imaginas este hombre? No wonder he pushed through the crowd. Por eso que empujó por la multitud. No wonder he was so hungry and so desperate. Por eso estaba desesperado y con tanta hambre. When was the last time you threw yourself at Jesus' feet? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tiraste los pies de Jesús? This man needed a miracle. Este hombre necesitaba un milagro. His daughter was 12 years old. Su hija tenía 12 años. And was at the point of death. Y estaba a punto de morirse. And look what he says. Come and lay your hands on her and heal her and she will live. What was his expectation? ¿Qué era su expectativa? That at the touch of Jesus she would que al toque de Jesús iba a ser sano. Verse 24, immediately Jesus went with him. Do you see the compassion that Jesus had? Si ve la compasión que tenía Jesús. If we can keep the piano, please. And the huge crowd followed. Y la multitud lo siguió. Pressing in on him from all sides. Pujándolo de todos lados. So here is this man who is in desperate need. Aquí está este hombre desesperado. In behalf of his daughter. Por medio de su hija. To be healed. Para que sea sana. He speaks to Jesus. Le habla a Jesús. Jesus is moved with compassion. Jesús está movido con compasión. And Jesus says, let's go. Y Jesús dijo, vamos. I'll go with you. Yo me voy contigo. Now in the crowd. That day was a woman who has suffered horribly from continual bleeding for 12 years. So here is Jesus, Aquí está Jesús. whom this man Jairus pleaded with. Que Jairo clamaba por. Jesus, you gotta come with me. Jesús, tienes que venir conmigo. My daughter's only 12 years old, Mi hija tiene 12 años. and she's about to die. Está a punto de morir. I need you to touch her Necesito que la toques. so that she can be healed. Para que sea sana. Jesus says, let's go. Jesús dijo, Vamos. On the way to heal this man's daughter, en camino a sanar esta muchacha, he walks through a crowd, pasa por un, un and un in the tour. midst of a crowd, Here is a woman Aquí está la mujer, with an issue of blood. Con de flujo de sangre. When she heard about Jesus escuchó de Jesús, and his healing power, y poder de sanidad, she also pushed through the crowd también la multitud, and came up from behind him y vino detrás de él, and touched his prayer shawl. Y tocó el manto de oración. You want to get healed, touch a man's prayer. Ser to sano, toca la oración de un hombre. You want to heal people? Quieres sanar a alguien? Get a prayer life. Toma una vida de oración. Come on, verse 29. El versículo 29. For she kept saying to herself, Porque ella misma dijo, If I only could touch his clothes. Si solamente tocaría su manto. Can you say that with me? For she kept saying to herself, Say this with me. If only I could touch his clothes. Si solamente tocaría su manto. I know I'll be healed. Yo sé que sería sana. I got good news for someone. Tengo buenas nuevas para alguien. Jesus wants you to touch him tonight. Jesús quiere que lo toques en esta noche. He doesn't care if you got blood in your hands. No le importa si tienes sangre en tus manos. He doesn't care if it's an issue of blood that's touching him tonight. Ni si un flujo de sangre lo toca a él en esta noche. If it's cancer, si es cáncer, leukemia, diabetes, asthma, leukemia, asma, diabetes. He doesn't care if it's pornography. No le importa si pornografía. You see everyone up in this room. Todos en este lugar. 
Don't act crazy. No actúen como locos. Everyone in this room Todos en este lugar needs a miracle. Necesitan un milagro. And I got good news tonight. Y tengo buenas nuevas en esta the noche. The miracle worker is here in this room. El hacedor de milagros aquí en esta noche. And he wants you to touch him. Y él quiere que lo toque. So if it's deliverance that you need, si es liberación que necesitas, touch him. Tócalo. If it's a physical miracle that you need, si es un milagro físico, touch him. Tócalo. If it's a financial breakthrough that you need, si es rompimiento financiero, touch him. Tócalo. And say just like that woman said. Y dilo como esa mujer lo dijo. For if all I do is touch him, si lo único que hago es tocarlo, I will be healed. Seré sano. Come on, if you believe you'll be healed, I want you to make some noise. Si lo crees, haga un poco de ruido. Verse 29. Versículo 29. As soon as her hand touched him, cuando lo tocó, her bleeding immediately stopped. El flujo de sangre paró. She knew it. Ella lo sabía. For she could feel her body instantly being healed Porque of her disease. Sintió su cuerpo ser sano de la enfermedad. Wow. Wow. She touched Jesus. Tocó a Jesús. Immediately she felt. Inmediatamente lo sintió. She was healed. Que fue sana. If you're watching online, si estás conectado en línea, I want you to share this link right now. Comparte el enlace ahora. Because in a moment, porque en un momento, we're gonna be praying for miracles. Vamos a orar por milagros. Because this house, porque esta casa, this church, esta iglesia, we are a church that believes in miracles. Somos una iglesia que creemos en milagros. Jesus didn't just heal yesterday. Jesús no solo sanó ayer. Jesus also healed. Today. También lo hace hoy. Can I get an amen? Verse 30. Versículo 30. Jesus knew at once. El supo that someone had touched him. Que alguien lo tocó. For he felt power. Porque él sintió poder. That always surged around him. Que siempre estaba en él. If, if si ustedes hablan español, léelo con nosotros. For that always surged around him and passed through him for someone to be healed. He turned and spoke to the cross saying, who touched my clothes? He wants you to touch him tonight. Él que lo en esta noche. If you've read the story, si le hice la historia, you know the ending. Tú sabes el fin. After this woman with the blood flow, Después del flujo de sangre, got healed, que fue sana. Jesus through word of knowledge knew that it was a woman. Jesús por hablar sencia sabía que era mujer que lo había tocado y la buscó y en temor ella pensaba hice algo que no tenía que hacer Jesús la aplaudió y afirmó que hizo lo que tenía que hacer no permitas a nadie que te cause que pienses que no puedes tocarlo a Jesús o oh, Jesús no quiere tu toque no, Jesús quiere ser tocado por ti no, Él quiere and you know what I love about this Mikey up until this moment in biblical history no one had ever received a miracle by just touching his clothes she made it legal because of her faith her faith now made it legal for people to get healed just by a touch the end of this story. El fin de la historia. Jesus keeps walking with Jairus. Jesús sigue caminando con Jairo. Goes to his house. Va a su casa. Heals his daughter. Sana a su hija. And his daughter lives. She didn't die. Y su hija vive, no muere. What I love about this story. Lo que me fascina de esta historia. Is that you don't really know who Jesus came for. Tú no sabes por qué vino Jesús. When he got to the other side. Cuando llegó al otro lado. Did he come for Jairus and his 12-year-old daughter? Vino por Jairo y su hija de 12 años. Or did he come for the woman with the issue of blood? O vino con la mujer con el flujo de sangre. What I do know is. Lo que sí sé es. Both of them. Las dos. Pushed through the crowd. Pujaron la multitud. And they threw themselves at Jesus. Y se tiraron a Jesús. So tonight I want to teach you two principles. Esta noche quiero enseñar dos principios. Number one. Número uno. Seize your opportunity. Toma tu oportunidad. That woman with an issue of blood flow could have been shy and say, well, he's on the way to heal someone that's about to die. Resurrection is far more important than blood flow. But the Bible says that she didn't do that. The Bible says that she pushed through the crowd and she said, I'm going to snatch my miracle. I want to tell somebody tonight number one 
número uno. Jesus wants to be touched. Jesús quiere ser tocado. So touch him. Entonces tócalo. Even if you're dirty. Aunque estés sucio. Even if you're sick. Aunque estés enfermo. He wants you to touch him. Él quiere que lo toques. Number two. Número dos. Seize your opportunity. Toma tu oportunidad. The same way Jairus seized his. La misma manera que Jairo la tomó. And the woman seized hers. Y la mujer tomó la de ella. And number three. Y número tres. We don't really know who Jesus came to the other side for. No sabemos quién cruzó Jesús para. Was it the 12 year old daughter? Fue la hija de 12 años. Or was it the woman with the issue of blood? O la mujer de flujo de sangre. What I do know. Lo que sí sé. Is the third thing that we must do tonight. Y la tercera parte que tenemos que hacer. Number one is touch him. Número uno es tócalo. Number two is seize your opportunity. Número dos, toma tu oportunidad. You better not let pride get in your way. No deje que el orgullo se meta en You better not let shame or fear get in your way. Ni la vergüenza ni el temor. You better touch him at any cost. Tienes que tocarlo no importar el costo. And number three. Y número tres. Let's just say Jesus was there for the for the 12 year old girl you can interrupt Jesus' assignment if you are hungry enough if you are desperate for Jesus maybe Jesus came to bless somebody else's business but if you seize your opportunity you can interrupt his mission and get a blessing for your business too maybe Jesus is on an assignment to heal somebody 10 rows behind you but if you are hungry and desperate just like the woman with the issue of the blood Como la mujer de flujo de sangre. on the way to heal someone else's daughter en camino a sanar a hija de otro. she interrupted his mission Ella interrumpió su misión. she interrupted his assignment interrumpió su asignación. and she provoked him y lo provocó. to heal her too Para que lo sane también. will you touch Jesus tonight Tú vas a tocar a Jesús en esta noche. will you seize your opportunity vas a tomar tu oportunidad. Will you interrupt his assignment? Va a interrumpir su asignación. For you to be blessed. Para que seas bendecido. For you to be empowered. Para que tú seas empoderado. For you to be prosperous. Para que seas próspero. Jesus. Jesús is still Todavía a miracle worker es un de I want to finish with this con esto. this past Sunday pasado, Apostle el apostol, his faith su fe, made it legal lo hizo legal. all he had to do was walk by Todo lo tuvo pasar es caminar. people got healed La gente fue sana. his faith su fe provoked provocó a new law in the spirit una nueva ley del espíritu. all I gotta do is walk past you Lo que tengo que hacer es caminar al frente de ti. you get healed Tú vas a ser sano. Peter Pedro did the same with his shadow Hizo lo mismo con su sombra. Jesus Jesus he's still a miracle worker Todavía hacedor de milagros. and guess what ¿Y sabes qué? you know what the good news ¿Sabes que las buenas nuevas? He wants to work your miracle. Él quiere trabajar tu milagro. And before we work miracles, y antes de trabajar los milagros, I need all of my leaders in the spirit right now. Praying in the spirit. Orando. Before we work miracles, antes de trabajar los milagros, I want to share just two things. Quiero compartir solo dos cosas. Number one. Número uno. Pastor, what is a miracle? Pastor, ¿qué es un milagro? Without miracles, sin milagros, Jesus is just another philosopher. Jesús es otro filósofo. He's just another teacher. Es otro maestro. What is a miracle? ¿Qué es un milagro? How many of you need a miracle? ¿Cuántos necesitan un milagro? One, two, Uno, three. Dos, tres. How many of you need a miracle in your home? ¿Cuántos necesitan un milagro en su casa? In your marriage. En su matrimonio. In your finances. En sus finanzas. In your life. En su vida. Maybe it's a miracle in your mind. O en su mente. Maybe it's deliverance. O es liberación. How many of you believe that he's a miracle worker? ¿Cuántos creen que es hacedor de milagros? He wants to work your miracle. Él quiere trabajar tu milagro. Él quiere trabajar tu milagro. He wants to work your miracle. El milagro que usted necesita en su cuerpo. The miracle you need in your body. En su vida. In your life. En su negocio. In your business. Él quiere trabajar en esta noche. He wants to work it tonight. Su milagro. Your miracle. What is a miracle? ¿Qué es un milagro? Write this down. Apúntelo. Two points. Dos puntos. And we work these miracles. Y trabajamos estos milagros. 
Number one. Número uno. What is a miracle? ¿Qué es un milagro? A miracle un milagro. is a supernatural intervention Una intervención sobrenatural of God de Dios. in the impossibilities of man. En la imposibilidad del hombre. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Repito una vez más. A miracle is a supernatural intervention. Un milagro es una intervención sobrenatural. It's a supernatural intervention of God. Una intervención sobrenatural when de Dios. God intervenes Cuando Dios interviene in the impossibilities of man. En la imposibilidad del hombre. In other words, en otras palabras, I have a question for you tonight. Tengo que hacer una pregunta esta noche. What is impossible for you? ¿Qué es imposible para ti? What is impossible for you right now? ¿Qué es imposible para ti ahora? What is impossible for your life? ¿Qué es imposible para tu vida? What is it? What is impossible for you to start? ¿Qué es imposible que tú comiences? For you to accomplish. Para que cumplas. What is impossible for you to overcome? For you to defeat. ¿Qué es imposible que tú derrotes? Que sobrepases. You need a miracle. Necesitas un milagro. If it's impossible for you to get cured. Si imposible, imposible que seas sano. If it's impossible for you to get set free. Imposible de ser libre. If it's impossible for your marriage to be restored. Imposible tu matrimonio sea restaurado. If it seems too impossible for you to start that business. Si se ve demasiado imposible comenzar el negocio. My friend. Mi amigo. You need a miracle. Tú necesitas un milagro. A miracle is when God intervenes in your life. Un milagro cuando Dios interviene en tu vida. It's when God intervenes in your family. Cuando interviene en tu familia. It's when God intervenes in your home. Cuando interviene en tu hogar. In your impossibilities. En tu imposibilidad. The Bible says. La palabra dice. What is impossible for you? Lo que imposible para ti. What is impossible for me? Lo que imposible para mí. What is impossible for man? Lo que imposible para el hombre. It's possible for God. Es posible para Dios. If you need a miracle. Si necesitas un milagro. Welcome. Bienvenido. To the church a la of miracles. De milagros. Tonight, Esta noche, we're going to work miracles. Vamos a trabajar los milagros. But before we do, Pero antes de hacer eso, I close with this. Cierro con esto. Two pointers that I want to share. Dos puntos que quiero compartir. If you want to learn more of the purposes of miracles, si quieres aprender más acerca de los propósitos de milagros, go on YouTube. A YouTube and watch Apostle's message on Sunday y mira la predica del apóstol de domingo you will impact your life impactará tu vida you will receive impartation vas a recibir impartición and then you go and do the same y de ahí saldrás a hacerlo igual you receive your miracle pero recibe tu milagro I just want to share two things quiero compartir dos cosas miracles are to glorify God milagros son para glorificar a Dios who do miracles glorify quien glorifica los milagros that young girl that came up esa joven que vino no one prayed for her nadie oró por ella she took off her shoes se sacó el zapato for the first time she saw an arch por primera vez vio un arco who does that glorify a quien glorifica eso that doesn't glorify Josué no glorifica Josué that doesn't glorify Apostle ni el Apostol that doesn't glorify this church ni esta iglesia we're just supernatural nosotros solo somos sobrenatural and we believe in miracles y creemos en milagros thank God for that revelation gloria a Dios por esa revelación thank God for this church gloria a Dios por esta iglesia thank God for a man gloria a Dios por un hombre who would dare to lead the way que se retó a abrir el camino and say I believe God is not God is the same y cree que Dios es igual he doesn't change Él no cambia. if he was a God of miracles si era un Dios de milagros, he still is ciertamente es. and forever will be y por siempre será. number one Número uno. miracles glorify God milagros glorifican a so Dios. after we work miracles Después de trabajar los milagros, we're going to glorify him vamos a glorificarlo. number two Número dos. what is the purpose of a miracle ¿Qué es el propósito de un milagro? is to prove es para comprobar. and I finish with this y cierro con esto. if all my elders all our leaders Todos los líderes. Uh, I'm sorry my elders and my personal disciples if you can stand here with me we're going to begin to call out conditions Vamos a comenzar a llamar condiciones. before we do that Antes de hacer eso, I want to finish tonight with this quiero cerrar con lo siguiente. write this down if you take notes y toma notas. or get the message after o toma el mensaje después. what is the purpose of miracles ¿Cuál es el propósito de milagros? first we need to understand Número, tenemos que entender miracles glorify God que glorifican a Dios. what is the purpose of a miracle ¿Cuál es el propósito de un milagro? I'll share with you just one tonight. Le comparto uno esta noche. I'll share two with you. Le comparto dos. Number one. Número uno. The purpose of a miracle. El propósito de un milagro. Are you ready? Están listos? 
the purpose of a miracle el propósito de un milagro is to prove es para comprobar the existence of God la existencia de Dios if you want to prove God si quieres comprobarlo a Dios if you want to prove God si quieren comprobar a Dios Miracles. Milagros. In other words, en otras palabras, when there's not a cure, cuando no hay cura, when there's an impossibility, cuando hay una that's where God says, ahí Dios dice, you gotta hear what I'm telling you. Que lo que le digo, when there's no cure, no hay cura, when there's an impossibility, no hay when there's something that you cannot do in your own strength, hay algo que no puede hacer en tu propia fuerza, that's where God gets to say, ahí Dios puede decir, I am real. Yo soy real. Miracles prove God. Milagros and in your impossibilities that's where you can let the whole world know that's where God can let you and I know I am real and I'm about to prove myself are you ready for your miracle? I hope that this message has blessed your life. If it did, make sure to give us a like and also comment below. We want to hear your feedback. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button and even share this message with someone that you want to see blessed. If you're ever in the Miami area, please check us out. We want to invite you. Don't ever forget that you got family here. King Jesus Remnant Youth Fam, 730 Passion Nights. Check us out. God bless.